Hey guys! Alright, well, we're back in Glitter Gulch Mine, and it is 3 o'clock in the afternoon on. What day is this? Ah, yeah, June 18th. And, um, I haven't recorded in a while, and I need to get some more of these, get more of these going, and I really felt like doing it, so let's do it! Ah. Oh, and I just ate me some, uh, a couple slices of pizza and some corn on the cob. That is some awesome food, if you ask me. Corn on the cob is best vegetable, or one of them. Anyway, down here, well, we better get ready for a challenge. Because down here we have one of my least favorite things in the game, but something that we have to get out of the way if we're going to 100% it, and we are going to 100% it, so... And you might think, oh, well, we're going to go in here and blast the shit out of something, but... Stop! I can't let you go in there. Why not? I've learned the Regal Blaster. We got a real problem in there, and shooting's not the answer. Okay, we promise not to shoot. Nope. You're not going in so you can defend yourself without shoot yourself without shooting. And thankfully over here, Jam Jars is willing to give us another move. What up, dog? Another use for the feathered freak makes good use of her pointy beak. Bad guys know that it's no joke. Just press B to give him a poke. Arr. Thank you, sir. You really should work on that, Jam Jars. Alright, so now we have finished. We've gotten all the moves in Glitter Gold's Mine. You learned to do beak attack, huh? Sure have, partner. Well, maybe you can help me out here. Real nasty bunch of TNT sticks have escaped from their box and are threatening to blow up my mine. Don't worry, we'll go in there and blast them. No! Oh, shoot one and the whole mine will all explode. I'll have to try and defuse them somehow. Anything else? Yep. You'll have to be quick, because when you defuse the first and the others will probably start the detonation timers. Ah. <sighs> Alright. So there's this. This is... There are a couple of the first-person things in the game that are really kind of irritating. But... Let's see how we do. Because once you hit the first one, you got a little over three minutes to, uh finish them all, and yeah, there's a couple of good strategies I can think of. Um, one is to just kill all the ones on the top and then move to the bottom. That works for a while, as long as you move fast, because once again, you only have a little over three minutes, and that's not a lot of fucking time. Trust me. Oh, God. When I was a, um, okay, wait, no, let's go this way first. When I was a kid, time games, like, terrified me, so I would never do this one. Until I really had to. And even then, I didn't, like, I would die all the time, because, you know, time games would freak me out. <laughs> and I just wouldn't get it. Uh, Dahoo! Dahoo! Alright, anyway. So yeah, there's a little bit of recoil on the B thing, and it kind of sucks, but... What are you going to do? Okay, so that is a loop around that links these two areas together. So let's move down here now. I think we got all the ones up top. I said we got all the ones up top. Okay, I'm going to go back here, actually, and see about any of these other rooms. Because we got over a little over a minute and ten sticks to get. So let's see if we can do this first try. If not, I will cut to when I actually do it. Hopefully it will not take me more than, a, more than like, one or two tries. Because if it does, that gets real annoying real fast. Ah, there's two in this room. Okay, so I've gone that way. Six more, and... Okay, we got this, we got this. Wait, Diamond Stick, 
I have to kill you! Okay. Is it down there? Where is it? I hear it. I think I see it, too. Ha! We got a first try! Yes! Oh my god, I'm so happy. I was dreading that when I came in. Just because time things. I don't really like them all that much. Too much pressure. In games, you know, you normally play not for the pressure. I got this funny-shaped nugget. Nugget, I reckon you just can have that. And of course he has a Jiggy, because everyone in this world has Jiggies on them. At all times. And knows that we're the hero. Actually, they don't really know we're the hero. Unlike another game I'll think of that I can think of that I will point that out when I do this. It's like when when I do it, I'll point out exactly what I mean. But for now, we'll just find our way out, or I'll cut to being out, but Oh my god, we... No, I don't think I'll... I'll just walk. It's not that far. But yeah, so... We... I completed first try. I'm really happy right now. That was awesome. I am very happy. Very happy. Okay. So what else do we have to do in here? Because there's not a whole lot else. Oh, I can think of one thing. Um... Okay. Let's go out here and get this jiggy. And... Let's see, we're at... Huh, we're six and a half minutes-ish. Somewhere in there, six, almost seven minutes. On the timer. And uh, let's see. We can then... Wait, 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 let me check totals, let me check totals. Okay, we got five of the jiggies. One of the honeycombs. Ooh, I need to figure out where the other honeycombs are. And one Jinjo we can't, absolutely can't get right now. I'm unsure if the fifth one we can get right now, but we'll just have to find out. Hmm. Alright. So now we're going to be kind of methodical here. I like to think so, anyway. And go outside the crushing shed. Wait, no, it wasn't outside the crushing shed. Where was it? It was... No, it wasn't mine entry one, because that's where I came out. Uh... Okay, no, it's outside of Mumbo's skull. In that same area where we smashed that... Uh, blew up that one gate to get the one Jinjo. The one Jinjo. It took me going all the way back to Humba Wumba and... Yeah. Okay. So I'm pretty sure it's this way. I think it's in the gloomy caverns anyway. As we can go... Oh, no, 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 that's wrong. Oops. Ah, I've gone the wrong way. Hold on. Oh, wait, no. I really should cut that. Okay, here we are outside the crushing shed. I think this is where I want to be. Because there was that one place that I went into earlier that I think we had to blow up with the dynamite, and then I was like, ah, oh, what happens if we go in here? Nah. But actually, there's this over here I wanted to deal with first. Now that we have uh, the bill drill, we can get rid of some of these rocks. And I can't remember what's under the rocks, but that's why we have bill drill. We can find out. Ah! I figured it'd be something like that. So one of the honeycombs is under the rocks. And feathers... Nothing. That looks like all of them. Let's leave before I die. Okay. Cool. Well, that was a honeycomb in there, and that's useful. Now we can... Okay, and if anybody's wondering and doesn't know, that Jiggy we cannot get yet. We will have to come back much later before we can get that Jiggy, because, well, I won't I won't open the box, because opening the box is a spoiler of some kind. Because there's something in the box we need to get that Jiggy. Herp. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun
Was it this one? No, this is the way to the... Okay. Hold on a minute, I have to think. Which way did I go? Okay. Over here by the train station is the area that we're supposed to go. This one that we went into only once and I since forgot about. Mine entry three. Don't shoot a fire egg at it. That sign's done nothing to you. Alright. So, we're gonna go in here and get probably the last jiggy we can get before we need to go to another world, because there's a lot of jiggies in Glitter Gulch that you just can't get on one run. This big red glowing aura cave over here that normally people would probably not go in, because it looks a little foreboding. And the music does not exactly help that. You gotta shoot these... Oh, that one's already lit. Hello! Warning! Unreliable generators! Use at your own risk! Okay. Okay, so the problem here is that there's a bunch of generators, see? And they take... Oh, you shoot a fire egg into the green thing and they'll light up and show you the way. You could technically do this without shooting any fire eggs, but those platforms are kind of perilous. And it's good to know where you're going. I said go. Okay. So then you can fire that. It's just, it's really just a simple, tricky platforming way of... Oh, yeah. And you, that one was totally concealed. I mean, if you play Donkey Kong Country 1, you should know what you're doing, but... And, and I have, but... And there's plenty of situations like this in that game. Well, sort of. Hey, there's even stuff that looks like that in that game. But, I mean, it's, it's relatively simple... Either way, it's it's simpler if you have fire eggs, but you know what? If you want to do it that way, then be my guest. Just don't blame me if you die a few times by falling in bottomless pits. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. Burn! Burn! Anyway. Hello. Oh, hello, Jiggy. Okay, so we're done. Uh. Okay, and down here, well, that, actually, that's where we came in, I think. Okay, so with that, um, I think that's six jiggies. Wait, let me do a, let me do this in my head. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all we can get right now. Cause we got one of the honey, two of the honeycombs now. Um. If I'm missing anything, somebody please remind me if they know. But I'm pretty sure I got everything I can get right now. Because I know one Jiggy we can't get until we get one ability from the next world. One Jiggy we can't get until we, um... Well, we could get the Jiggy that we officially need the ability from the next world to get. But that's... That would result in all kinds of death. And it's just not worth the time. And, um... Let's see, what else? Um, there's the one that requires the thing from the later world, and there's one that requires something from... And I don't remember the last one. Because I can only think of three. That would put us at nine? I think that would put us at nine. Let's see. Yeah, if we get three, because we have to save Dilberta from... Mayhem Temple, that would be seven, because that counts as a jiggy to this world. Um, we could get the one to the next world, the one from like a bunch of worlds later. I just don't remember what the last one is. But let's stop wasting time doing this and go to the... Ah! Oh, it must be the, the, the swimmy one, but I'm not sure if I can get that one right now. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, enough of my wasting time. There's a few things I want to get in the outside now, world, now that we're pretty much finished with Glitter Gulch for the time being. Ugh. Good, good, good. Okay, so first things first. There's one major thing I want to get. Now that we're out here. Well, it could be major, it could not be. But under this rock. It's a black Genjo. Yes! Two out of nine. Alright. And that's good. 
So, now we need to go back to Wooded Hollow and go into my M Temple real quick. And yeah, I'm gonna do that all in this video. I should actually... Um, yeah, I'm gonna cut to doing that. At least I think I am. Hold up. Over here, we have something that I forgot to get. You can actually grip grab up there. I didn't have grip grab at the time, but I just flew in there. You can see you can go up and grab the side and climb up. But, yeah, so that's the other missing honeycomb, and I will meet you in the prison compound. Okay, well, actually, there's something I forgot we had to be a stony for to get a... To, I need to show, because, yeah. To free the trapped one, the sun must rise before the moon and a star. A second moon and a second sun will then follow. I think so. Okay, so let's go do that right now. While we can still be a stony. Get out of the way. Would you crazy cat people go away, please? Anyway. So. The moon. No, no. The moon must rise before the sun. And... A star. Follow a second sun. So the second moon and sun will then follow... No. It was... Sun... No, no, no. <laughs> okay, stop being stupid. Moon... Sun... Star... Sun... Moon... Star. No, wait. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go be not stupid. Wait, what the? Okay. Hello, tell me again. For the trapped one, the sun must rise before the moon and a star. A second moon and a second sun will then follow. Okay. Okay, so it goes. Okay, I can't remember, was it sun, moon, star, moon, sun? Yes! Hey, I got it! I think I had that first part mixed up. Sorry for making it watch that. Hello, my little rabbit friend. Eek! Me, Dilberta, was out looking for gold when that boulder fell down and trapped me in here. I suppose you expect us to move it. Eek, if you wouldn't mind. Okay, well... I will meet you back here in a second. Alright, well now that we're Banjo and Kazooie, let's go in here, and we can actually, with the build drill, help out Dilbert a little bit. Eek! Thanks very much for unblocking my passage. Uh, it's worth a jiggy handed over, you plague-ridden pest. Eek! You'll have to come and see my master bill about that, eek! Scraw! Okay, well, there's gonna be a lot of cutting in this episode, so... I might actually fill it, fit in one more thing. Hello! My rodent partner, Dilbert, is still missing. Funny you should say that. We had another look round and managed to find her. There she is now. Hi, honey, I'm home. Squawk. I'm so happy you found my Dilberta. Take this pretty gold nugget as a reward. Woohoo! And they're just going to be sitting there cheering for the rest of eternity. Cool, well, let's go. Because there am one more thing I want to do. One more thing. Um. Damn it. Okay. So, if we know, we actually can go over here and get to it. I can't remember the way to get to it otherwise. So we're just gonna do it this way. My way. Up. Uh, 
Darn it, man. <sighs> but, uh... Ah, be more interesting. Okay. I wish I could. I'm just having to play this game and enjoying it because it's a great game. Anyway, we're over here in this. Now let's get that J gate. No! As you can see, we have to build drill this rock. Even though it doesn't look like any of the rocks we've build drilled before, except for the one we just build drilled. Hello. Die. Okay, so down here. We have a game to play. A Game of Thrones. Okay, wait. This is also timed, if I remember correctly. And... I'm actually gonna go up and get a good look. Because we need to do them all in order, so that the jiggy bounces down to the window where we can reach it. So the ones that need to fall... Need to hit... That one. That one. No, I need to hit the one the jiggy's on. So... Directly behind me? Yes, okay. That's simple enough. We need to go over here. Oh, we got... Get out of the way. Okay, I thought that was an explanation. Ex explanation point. Um. Is it not? Hello? Jiggy Patrol. Hmm. I don't understand why this is timed exactly. Because, I mean, it's just going to bounce to each consecutive one, and... I just don't understand why this is timed. I mean, I guess that adds a little bit of challenge to it, but really it's just this over and over again. The only difficult part about this Jiggy is you have to go to another world to get the ability to even get it. But it's whatever, I guess. Are we done yet? So we have to go get it now. Up, oh, go, go, go! Because for some reason they wanted to time me! Ah! Okay, that was difficult. Okay, so let's see where we actually end up if we go in here, just so I can show you how to get here without doing that. Obviously, you have to swim. Oh, so it does, it is through here. I wish I had noticed that when I fell in the water and took a brief glimpse. Okay, well, we're actually going to end the part pretty soon. The next part we will actually start off in uh, Jinjo Village. Because I want to go back to... Well, we could start off in Spiral Mountain, but I'm going to start off in Jinjo Village and go back and get something. So I'll see you guys then.